a quite candid camera. Come on in. All right, so uh, welcome to Tokyo. Um, uh, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, I've been going to OpenStack summits for uh, a long time, four years, eight, seven summits, eight summits. I think this is my eighth summit. Um, I've been working on OpenStack since uh, uh, since the Diablo release, uh, or, or maybe the Diablo development cycle, since the Cactus release. Um, and let's see, I don't think I even put up my name, but um, OpenStack, OpenStack is five years old this summer. And uh, in the community um, track, which this session is part of, we're talking about things beyond just technology, beyond enterprise, uh, beyond uh, um, development uh, tools. Uh, we're not going to talk about infrastructure. We're not going to talk about uh, uh, much useful at all. As I, and I, I, I prefaced my comments earlier with, uh, you will get nothing useful out of this unless you need a dog frisbee for your dog to fetch. So that's about it. Um, so let's go on. Uh, I'm using some stock uh, Google Doc or Google presentation uh, slides. So you'll see some things that may be familiar to you. Um, this one is kind of, kind of Jeopardy-ish. Um, across the top, we have uh, four categories, places, people, services, and Arbok. So this is going to be a free-for-all question. Anybody can answer it. You don't have to stand up. You don't have to raise your hand. Fisher's not allowed. Mike's not allowed, because uh, I think Mike saw this before. Um, uh, but let's see. So this, this first icon over here, um, I don't know how well you can see that picture. Um, but who knows what that place is and why it's on this slide? What's that? It is Austin, Texas. Who said that for, okay, there we go. There's a winner. Why, why is Austin, Texas on the slide? What's that? First release. What else? Next release, excellent. Everybody's, everybody's a winner. All right, so that's, that's why places is being represented by Austin. All right, people, who's the person? Jonathan Bryce, uh, that man wants a, fr what's that? Oh, he's already got a Frisbee, okay. We'll, we'll throw it to somebody else. I'm just gonna throw it over this way, whoever grabs it gets it. <laughs> All right, so Jonathan Bryce is the executive director and I've just picked him as a figurehead that most people should be able to recognize. What's the service in the third picture? Cinder, did you already get a Frisbee? Nope. Oh. All right. See, this is this is this is just a this is just fun for me. I don't know how you, why you guys are here, but all right. What is the fourth category? Arbok. It's not role-based access control. It's something else. It's a random bag of confusion. If you're familiar with uh, woot.org or woot.com, you'll know that they give away a random bag of confusion. So most of these questions are going to fit into one of these categories. I did not ki get quite through all of my organization before the start of the session. So uh, it's not going to strictly follow places, people, services, Arbok. Uh, but there will be, it, it, it'll fall into that Arbok category if it doesn't fall anywhere else. So let's go on. Um, uh, as I said before, you don't need to come up and use the mic. It's a small group. Just raise your hand if you have the answer. Um, and if you haven't won a Frisbee yet, raise your hand uh, fast. That way I can get a Frisbee out to everybody, hopefully by the end. Uh, let's see. Uh, places. Okay, so if I just click the slide, what's this summit location? Does it, no, none of you were here, as far as I could tell. Okay, so it's an older summit session. So now we kind of need to guess. It is not Vancouver. It is not Paris. It is in the United States, though. It's not Portland. It's not Atlanta. Go back in time. It's Boston, says my boss in the last row. <laughs> All right, so this is actually Occupy Boston, which was across the street from the Boston Summit. Um, as I click the slide, uh, you'll see that it was the Essex Design Summit. It was my first design summit. That's, that's why it's so memorable to me. Uh, it's in front of the Intercontinental Hotel was Occupy Boston. 
And uh, I will post these slides later, not that they're very important, uh, but that way you can click the links, et cetera, and go see some more information. Um, let's see. Who is this? That's Ann Gentle. And I think you haven't got a Frisbee yet. Is that correct? All right. All right. Who is Ann Gentle? <laughs> who, can you tell us who Ann Gentle is, roughly? What does she do? Perfect. Absolutely correct. Anne is the uh, OpenStack, OpenStack docs guru, principal engineer, leader of people, women of OpenStack. She is pretty much one of the first people I met in OpenStack that was not a PTL. At that time, she was not a PTL. So, uh, Anne, is, uh, Anne is legendary. So that's your people. All right. Um, what OpenStack affiliated service might you need to pass this option? Okay, this is a very technical question. And it's not an OpenStack service as per se, but it is an OpenStack affiliated service. So if you don't know, guess. Uh, when, when would you have to really, really mean something? What would be going on if you really, really wanted to do something? Very close. I'll give you, you've already got a Frisbee though, right? All right. So it is, it's actually deleting storage pools. It's a Ceph command. And it uh, basically, they want you to repeat the name of the pool you're deleting twice. Yes. So, so you say, delete this very important storage pool. Yes, delete this very important storage pool. And yes, I really, really mean it. It's absolutely requi required to type the full command. It will always fail and give you a nice little warning if you don't say all four parts. Um, Ceph, uh, if you're not familiar with it, is a, a, a block storage device that's used, that can be used by Cinder. It's also got an object storage component as well as an object storage front end, so it can also behave like Swift. Um, what is the name of this performing duo? Oh, I, I, I will let you answer this, Mr. Fisher. It is dope and stack. All right. So I don't know if we've got the audio on, but let's try it. Uh, whoop, wrong button. Uh, yep, OK. Can I play audio? All right, I'll just move it back to, I'll move, yeah, I'll move it back to my machine. Okay, here we go. Uh, present. This was presented at the uh, San Diego Summit at about 9 a.m., maybe 8.45 a.m., and it really did wake up the room. And you can still buy these shirts, but you can, they're not, they don't give these shirts away. What the F Cloud Cloud K is OpenStack. Did I throw you a Frisbee, Matt? Uh, this is how I open most of my Colorado OpenStack meetups, and sometimes our Friday morning uh, team meetings. All right, that's enough to OpenStack. All right, so we've kind of gone through, that was a random bag of confusion right there. Uh, we've gone through a couple of people, places, services, and random. Let's do it again. All right. Uh, name three OpenStack projects. That's supposed to be a J. Projects that are also places. Okay. Heat. Heat. Is that a place? 
Oslo, yes. Very well done. You've already won a Frisbee. Des designate, that's another project, designate somebody to get a Frisbee. Point at somebody. All right, you guys ready? Okay, so yes, you're correct. So there's lots of them. Sahara, Oslo, Murano, Manila, Kola, or a little more meta, Horizon, Keystone, Barbican, Trove. All those are places, legitimate places. All right. What were the first two OpenStack subprojects? They weren't even called projects back then because OpenStack was itself a project. So what were the first two projects in OpenStack? I heard it, but I didn't see. What's that? Yes, Nova and Swift. I don't see anybody's lips moving, so I'm going to have to throw the Frisbee in that general direction. All right, so thing, I like to call it thing one and thing two. But yeah, Swift and Nova. Swift actually even predates Nova if you're going to get really technical about it. But when OpenStack came out, they were both there. What large core OpenStack project was renamed in 2013? And if you were paying attention at the keynote, Quantum Neutron, yes. I heard, I heard it down here first. All right. So quantum was renamed due to quantum, you know, quantum storage uh, having a little bit of issue with that. So it was renamed to Neutron after they did a due diligence on uh, making sure that Neutron was available. Um, so now that's another round of four. Let's keep going. All right. Another project was renamed in August 2014. It is now known as Zaycar. What was the original name of that project? And this picture is a clue. What was it? Marconi is correct. And did whoever say that have a Frisbee yet? Okay. Um, let's see. Somebody back there has not had a Frisbee. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so, so Zaycar was originally known as Marconi. It is the messaging service. Um, it, so it kind of makes sense for it to be represented by a radio. But Zaycar, I don't even know what Zaycar means other than the messaging service. It, okay. We probably delivered mail. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Uh, Same reason. Marconi, Marconi is a registered trademark in some internationality. Sa same reason. Um, oh, let's see. What is the messaging services service provided by an OpenStack project? But wait. The <laughs> and I think I just gave that one away. What did I just say? What is the messaging service? Zaycar. All right. Let's see. What project, and this, this changed recently. That's a big clue. What project is alphabetically first? Barbican? It is not Barbican. It used to be. There's an early, earlier one in the alphabet now. It's a new one from Aconda. Does anybody remember the name of the new project donated by Aconda? Astara. Astara. Who do you want to get the Frisbee, Matt? Haynes is getting the Frisbee. Where is Haynes? Is he back? He's hiding under the light. I can take out the light if I don't get it to Haynes. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, so the other one is AOD, which is a sub-project underneath Solometer. So it's not a full project on its own. But I would have accepted either answer. Um, let's see. What summit introduced DevStack? There has not always been a DevStack for those of you developers in the audience. It was introduced at one of the summits. What's that? Pa Paris? No. Bolivia? No. Not San Diego. Not Austin. Rhymes with Austin. Did somebody say what it rhymes with? I said it rhymes. Boston. Yes. It's an approximate tool. Uh, so DevStack was created by another Jesse and sleeps on the floor. It was introduced at a lightning talk in the Boston summit. It was the best lightning talk ever. I was actually doing cloud on a stick at that time, which was like a USB thumb drive that had Nova and Swift and a little bit of uh, 
uh, Horizon on it, I think, or whatever predated Horizon. Uh, DevStack just made that completely pointless. Um, and I think I've even got a speaker note here with these guys' real names. Let me jump down to it. Jesse Andrews is, not an, is another Jesse, and Anthony Young is also known as Sleeps on the Floor. All right. All right, raise your hand if you don't yet have a Frisbee. Okay, still got, 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 okay. DevStack isn't a project listed in the official products, projects, but is part of another one. Which one is DevStack part of? And this is kind of a trick question, I thought. What's that? It is not. That's, a, that's exactly what I think everybody would think automatically. It is not part of Infra. It's a project that doesn't have a code name, which is kind of interesting as well. Um, anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Okay, it's not Infra. It's not part of Docs. It's actually in the OpenStack QA project. So think, raise your hand again if you don't yet have a Frisbee. There's two right there. Maybe I can hit, ah, yes, got one of them. That's a win. All right. Oop, hit the wrong button. Okay. And this, this question, you have to justify your answer. And because I've been coming longer than most of you, my answer might differ from yours. But uh, I'll take pretty much any valid answer on this question. Who's the most famed or infamed for giving live demos during Summit keynotes? Mark Shuttleworth is the right answer. You've got a Frisbee, right? What color do you have? Ah, well, there you go. Oh. Uh, well, I don't want to take him back on the plane. I brought him here on a plane. I brought two suitcases, yes. So Mark Shuttleworth, who is also the first African in space uh, at the International Space Station, paid his own way. Um, the founder of Canonical, the sponsor of Ubuntu, chief technical officer at Ubuntu, and here this week. Uh, he's not get, he did not give a keynote this time. Uh, in a, a, a private party, he did do a live demo, um, and he is very famous for doing them, absolutely. Um, I would say that uh, uh, Kyle Mestre tried to do one yesterday morning uh, that kind of failed, so I would have taken that as an answer, and then there's a couple of other people I know that have done them that have failed, which is kind of even more important. Um, which project has reinvented and re-implemented itself the most? And this is kind of an older OpenStack question as well. It's not a recent project. Um, it's not Solometer. Okay, <laughs> just, just for those, those that think it might be Solometer. Keystone, yes, Keystone. Uh, I think that voice has already gotten a Frisbee. Where should I throw this Frisbee? Which, the back right, uh, back, back this way? Okay. There you go, right there. All right. Yeah, Keystone went through several implementations in the early days. They did it like three times in a year. And then, and, and I don't know how many times since then. So that happened in like uh, uh, Bear, Cactus, Diablo, Essex time frame. Okay. And guess what, guys? That is the end of the trivia. Yeah, it went pretty fast. Um, I hope that you understand how community works uh, a little bit better. I've got answers to questions. Oh, so you guys can ask me trivia questions now if you want, um, but you certainly don't have to. And if you would like a Frisbee and did not receive one, just come on up and I will be happy to hand you one as opposed to throwing one at you. Um, I'd like to thank Time Warner Cable, uh, the company I work for, for bringing me here and uh, allowing me to give you this presentation. So let's give a hand to Time Warner Cable for sponsoring this meetup. <laughs> and uh, I, know, I know it's not beer 30, but if you haven't found a beer yet, probably you could at somewhere, someplace, sometime. Thanks. Uh, but please, come up and get a Frisbee. I've got, I've got like 20 more. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes.